What's up, Bridge Kids? It is a special day. I've been waiting all week to hang out with you because today our lesson is all about Jesus being tempted in the desert. Guys, this is a crazy story. You don't want to miss a thing. So before we jump into the story, we're going to play a game. Are you ready to play a game? This game is called Stand Up. Sit down, and this is how it works. I'm going to give you kind of a would you rather do one thing or the other. And if you want to do the first one, you stand up. If you would rather do the second one, you're going to sit down. Let's start off nice and easy. Okay, stand up if you would rather have the superpower of flying. Sit down if you would rather have the superpower of super strength. Which one? I'm on my tiptoes. I'm standing. All right, next one. Stand up if you'd rather eat a bowl of worms or sit down if you'd rather eat a bowl of spaghetti. I don't know what to I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna sit down, okay? There we go, all right, next one. Stand up if you'd rather dye your hair blue or sit down if you'd rather shave it all off. <gasps> Which one? Which one? That's such a, I, I'm gonna go with blue hair, blue hair. Okay, here we go, last. One, stand up if you would rather never wear socks again, or sit down if you would rather never wear flip-flops again. <gasps> no more flip-flops. Whew, that'd be tough. All right, which one are you choosing? Wow, all right. Now, in each of these things, you had to make a choice. You had to make a decision. And you know what, Jesus, he had to do that in our story today because he was tempted to sin by the devil. But guys, he never sinned. Even though he was tempted, he never did. And that's the amazing part of the story. So this story, it takes place in the New Testament, in the second half of the Bible that we've been learning about, all about Jesus. And we can see what happens when Jesus is tempted. So guys, I want you to grab both your ears and say, I'm listening. Point to both of your eyes and say, I'm watching. And let's check out this story all about Jesus. After Jesus was baptized, God's Spirit led him into the wilderness. Jesus stayed in the wilderness for many days. He prayed to God and thought about God's plan for his life. Jesus did not eat anything while he was in the wilderness, and he was very hungry. The devil came to tempt Jesus. He tried to get Jesus to do wrong things. The devil said, if you are really God's son, tell these stones to become bread. If Jesus used his power to turn the stones into bread, he could eat the bread. Then he wouldn't be hungry anymore. But Jesus said no. He trusted God to give him what he needed. Then Jesus said, This is what the Bible says. Man must not live only on bread, but on all the words God says. Jesus did not sin, so the devil tried again. He took Jesus to the top of the temple in Jerusalem. The devil said, If you are really God's son, prove it. Jump off the top of the temple. God will protect you. Then the devil said, The Bible says God will order his angels to keep you safe, and they will protect you, so that you will not even trip on a stone. Again, Jesus said no. Jesus knew the devil was trying to trick him by misusing God's words. The devil was being foolish. Jesus said, The Bible also says, Do not test God. Finally, the devil took Jesus to a high mountain where they could see land stretched out far and wide. The kingdoms and the land were great. The devil said, Look, I will give you all the money and power of these great kingdoms. All you have to do is fall down and worship me. Jesus said, No! Go away, he said. The Bible says, only worship God and only serve God. So the devil went away. Angels came to help Jesus and serve him. In all of these things, Jesus never sinned.
The devil tried to get Jesus to sin, but Jesus never sinned. Jesus always did the right thing. Jesus died on the cross to rescue us from sin. When we are tempted to sin, we can ask Jesus to help us say no to sin. That is one of the most amazing stories. It shows us that even though Jesus was tempted by sin, he never sinned. He never said, thought, did anything that disappointed God. But guys, he didn't simply be like, no, I know I shouldn't do that, uh, 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 no. Instead, he said scripture as a way to defeat the devil. He said man should not live by bread alone. He quoted scripture. And did you know that when we are tempted by sin, when we every day are tempted, we can defeat sin with scripture. Because guys, sin is anything we think, say, or do that disappoints God. Maybe it is saying something mean to a friend or a brother or a sister. Maybe we're tempted to disobey our parents or tell a lie but we have a decision to make. And sometimes that decision can be difficult. And it's only through the power of God that we can defeat sin. We can't do it by ourselves. So I decided to try something to see how difficult it can really be to resist temptation. So I have some desserts and we're going to see if some of the kids team can resist some dessert temptations. Let's check it out. So here is a napkin for each of you, and on this napkin is an Oreo. Now, I'm gonna give you this Oreo, and I will be right back. If you do not eat the Oreo, I will give you a second Oreo when I get back. Okay. All right, let's see how you did, Ashley. Why is, you, why is your Oreo on the ground? Okay, but you, did you eat any of it? Okay, you did? No. Okay, here, here's the second one. And if you want that one, you can have Hannah House, the Bible. <laughs> well, I get your Oreo. Hey, that looks good. That actually looks What's the bottom? Where's the bottom of your Oreo? Did you eat the bottom? Did you eat the bottom? Uh-uh. <laughs> There's teeth on this Oreo. Well, good try. Good, good try. <laughs> wow! I... Did you see them? Did, did you see them eat the cookies? I saw them eat the cookies. Wow. So guys, sometimes temptation is really hard to avoid, but we saw in today's story that Jesus used scripture as a way to defeat Satan. So that's why we learn different verses in the Bible, so that when we are tempted, we know that God is in control, that he has a plan for us. So can you say our Bible verse with us? Can you, let, let's all say it together. Here we go. One, two, three. He must increase, I must decrease. John 3 30. Can you say it with me one more time? Here we go. He must increase. I must decrease. John 3 30. Now that verse reminds us that God is the center of our lives. Now when Adam and Eve sinned, it became impossible for us not to sin. Jesus was the only perfect person to ever live. And this week, I want you to talk to your family about some sins that you may be having trouble defeating. Maybe it's watching something you shouldn't watch, saying things that you shouldn't be saying, or doing things that you know are wrong. 
but how can we avoid these situations? Now, did you notice that when we were, okay, two seconds. Now, did you notice that when I put the desserts in front of the people, that the people that had the best success with avoiding that temptation, they were the ones that got away. They were the ones that got to enjoy the cookies at the end. But you see what happens when they stayed and they just kept staring at the cookie and they knew they wanted the cookie, but they knew they couldn't have the cookie. Well, it became really difficult for them not to give in. So take some time to talk to your family about the verse that we learned today how God must increase so that I can decrease in ways that you can run from sin. You can run from temptation. Maybe it's by memorizing some more scripture or praying to ask God to give you the strength that you need to beat the sin in your life. Think you can do that? Well, you can't do it alone, but with God's help, you can. So I'm gonna end today with a word of prayer in three, two, one. Father God, thank you. Thank you for sending your son here to earth to be the example of how to follow you. Lord, I pray that we would take time this week to pause and thank you for everything that you have given us. And that when we are facing temptation, Lord, we would rely on your strength, on your word to help get us through it. Be with us this week. In your name we pray, amen. Guys, I had so much fun hanging out with you today. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye!